Now, going over to the culture part of the pack, I see you have Anheuser-Busch, Clydesdale, Bottle, Sniff, Tweet. Well, it really has no sense of spell. Now, this comes to specifically the social media profile of Anheuser-Busch, which is the parent company behind all the brands you used to know and love. Now, you just know. Specifically, Budweiser, Bud Light, Michelob Ultra, and a bunch of other beers that a lot of people drink, but I just don't. I should be told I would probably appreciate a spirits if I were to have the occasion for a drink. But nevertheless, this is from their Anheuser-Busch profile over on X Twitter and the text says quote hey that's my bud unquote and they did I, I appreciate a little grammar pun so instead of H-E-Y which is grammatically you know hey what's up as the youth might say he says hey H-A-Y and the profile or the picture that the company is in fact of a Clydesdale horse trying to sniff a aluminum bottle of Budweiser now again I don't know if it's just marketing fail Oh, it is, but I can't help but notice one of the first things off the bat is the bottle isn't opened. So you're probably not smelling the beer if the beer bottle is not open. Interesting that they have that. It is also funny that they have a little a little disclaimer on the picture that's in faded gray that says message for 21 up. Insinuating, because again, in the United States, you have to be 21 years or older to buy a alcoholic beverage. But... They hired a brand ambassador, Dylan Mulvaney, for $185,000, whose average audience member was 15 years old. And they thought it would be a good idea to pay this individual to celebrate 365 Days of Womanhood with a commander of Cannes, which, incidentally enough, does belong in a museum for being the business, big, biggest business blunder of 2023, bar none. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in sales just evaporated because of that faux pas. Now, again, the bottle, it's the Budweiser bottle. But again, the cap is on, so you can't actually smell it if the animal were to actually smell it. Perhaps they might just recognize it. But going to the analytics behind it, it did not go viral. It barely got any views at all, relatively speaking. I mean, this got, and again, it, this happened a couple days ago, so the comments and statistics had time to brew, pun moderately intended. It only got 4,265 views. For a company with seemingly unlimited financial resources, and they're spending millions upon millions upon millions of dollars on marketing, I'm surprised they didn't actually pay to boost this ad, which, because again, that's, or this boost this post, as they, I believe they say it on X Twitter, so they actually have more eyeballs on it. So it got 4,265 views, and only got 177 likes, which is, again, terrible for a multi billion dollar company, and it only got 14 comments, which, Granted, I was going to say most of them are just roasting the brand, as youth might say, or just making fun of them. So perhaps there's one or two positive or neutral comments. I mean, the odds are against it, but wise man once said, never tell me the odds. So let's dive in comments and find out. Maybe they're just, all the comments are just overwhelmingly impressed with this piece of marketing and this tweet. They think it's business brilliance, and this is inspiring them to go out and buy cases upon cases of Budweiser. I mean, probably not, but let's dive and find out. So the first one comes from J Jam. Says, "quote Is it a mare or a stallion? The only two choices. It's only two choices." And Anheuser Busch will not answer. Unquote. Gain two likes, which is a I believe a observation on Anheuser Busch again hiring a brand, brand ambassador who didn't know Dill Mulvaney is very famous uh, a trans activist who born male, switched but never got the surgery, so controversy in and of itself as well. And they paid this individual one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. Which is quite pretty pay. Now, JJM did get two likes. Chow Chow photoshopped it so that the beer is on top of a toilet seat. That did get five likes. So, two for two. Not not good. Both negative. Ryan Trefitty says, quote, no. Simply. And he got seven likes. So, three for three. All negative. Not great. Jasper simply says, still not buying it. Unquote. And that got four likes. Roman... Knight says, quote, you haven't apologized yet. The answer is no, getting five likes. Jacob McAllister simply says, yay, unquote. Now, no one liked it, but the statement is there. You also have Beth saying, oh my gosh, is this a real comment? We'll have to tune in or check out her profile. She simply says, hey, 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 that's my bud and I'll share. Which again, I don't think it's a smart move to give any horse or animal an Amazon in Beth product because... I'm not sure how beneficial alcohol is for a horse. Perhaps that's what they're trying to promote. I'm sorry, those, uh, I'm sorry, the PETA crew isn't uh, making fun of this post or roasting them. 
So Beth, she has 210 followers, joined in 2010. She likes country music and NASCAR. And she is mentally vacuous, I believe is a nice way of saying it. Everything she, she's got to be an InBev employee, and she's a Bush InBev employee. She reposts everything for the company. Like everything from all their brands, Budweiser, Bud Light, Anheuser-Busch, Michelob, the farm where the horses are raised. Oh, she even did one for a Bluebell, but it's a chance to win stuff. Oh, let's see. Reposted something about 9-11. Reposted something about the Royal Caribbean. Let's see. So, yep, just repost everything and I just push best. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know if they're a shareholder or if they have someone who works at the company, but there's one comment, albeit for someone who is a shill for and I just push best. Maybe she works there. Maybe she has a family member who works there. Or maybe she owns a couple of shares of their stock. Now, that being said, no one liked her response. Now, a couple more come from Frank Truslov. Frank says, quote, Dill Mulvaney, unquote. Now, that didn't get any likes, but the statement is there. Scrolling down, McLovin Fogel says, quote, hey, horse, I wouldn't drink that. Buying drinks, bud, unquote, getting one like. Which I can't help but think in terms of boosting the brand or at least getting their new customer base. That, I mean, if they want to lean into their new customer base, that's not a terrible idea. I'm trying to think of the last time you had like a president endorse a product. I don't even know if that's legal or how that would work in terms of making a profit doing that. Now, one person did like that statement. Our host says, quote, you kicked your customers to the curb by hiring liberal parasites, and now you want us back? You're done, unquote, getting one like. And of course, there's a button that says, you know, click this may contain offensive stuff. Click the, if you want to see it, of course, we're going to click the bonus button. We do that. What the heck is that? It's just someone saying, woo, which, and then there's a statement that says, quote, oh, it's about the union. So, Woohoo for brotherhood, says, quote, Anheuser Bush loved this. You guys used to use working horses for profit. Teamsters, you guys nailed this one. Woo, from Detroit local. Interesting. So, one of those union guys cheering it on. Getting one like. A, somebody says, F, you pervs and pedos. Getting one like. Book U says, quote, real men do not drink bud, unquote. Getting one like as well. And if you go to the very top. There's actually no super secret censored statements. Interestingly enough, there usually are a couple, but they didn't choose to do a super secret censor on that one. So again, does this compel you to buy the product or does it shift the brand perception? Does it shift the Overton window, some might say, or the cultural war that is ongoing battle between Anheuser Bush and their old clients? Because again, they're not really, this doesn't inspire me to buy the product. It just says, it's just a I guess it's supposed, a lot of people love animals and they have, you know, pets and all that kind of stuff. So perhaps they're trying to lean into that shtick. But, again, yeah, the most hilarious thing is that the bottle is not open, so the horse couldn't possibly smell it. Now, granted, perhaps the average person who can drink, who consumes and is a fan of Anheuser Bush and Bud products is too inebriated and drunk to actually realize these things. They don't analyze the ad. They just see horse beer laugh or something like that. But I, yeah, it, it doesn't seem to really be that persuasive. Not really that interesting. I, to me, it's just funny that it's just so utterly inept. So, some might say, perhaps the horse has no sense of smell, which would probably be the safest bet, because I don't know of anyone who would want to smell a Budweiser bottle of beer. But, it'll be interesting to see when it comes to the cultural topic of Bud Light. I don't think their marketing campaign, they're spending a lot of money, but I don't see it getting better anytime soon. Thank you again, everyone, for taking the time to tune in today. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month, so you can click that button. I greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, or sharing it is also a great way to give me some additional feedback and help the channel grow. But lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.